Alright, surely he can't take another shot. Guaranteed dead. <laughs> what? Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play XCOM. We are returning from a crashed, or not a crashed, a, a landed uh, small UFO over here in uh, Indonesia. And, uh, actually, believe it or not, we, we made it through the mission without uh, any casualties, which is, which is a big deal for me. Um, knowing how I play XCOM, which um, some would say aggressive and, and quick and bad, <laughs> uh, is, good, is a big deal. I'm good, yeah, I'm happy about this. Uh, before that, we met our friends, the Chrysalids, which uh, didn't last too long. So, um, what we're doing this time, we're still working on our Alien, Aero alien Origins research, which we should have before too long. Um, I've been thinking about my power suits and how I'm using them. I'm, I don't quite have the, the enough, I don't think I have enough resources to really squat on them like I have been doing. So I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, is just give power suits to the, the, the higher ranking guys, the ones that are, uh, the good soldiers, basically. And, the, um, I'm going to keep the plastic, the, I want to say plastic aqua armor, the basic armor on, um, on the, the rookies and squatties and things. Because we don't, we don't have unlimited things. I mean, we, we are low on um, Illyrium and uh, alloys. Of course, we have to make those, so... I probably shouldn't go too crazy. I'm thinking... We have a, a decent amount of alloys now. I could make more. Or I can make some medicates. I can make some medicates and actually sell them. It wouldn't hurt anything. We're making them in the other base, too. So this base is... For now, until we know what we're going to do with this, until we have something better to make, I think we'll just do that. Because it costs us 28 grand. And I don't remember what they sell for. They sell for... They sell decent. Let's take a look. What do we have in this base? How many medicates do we have? We should even be selling these. Yeah, we still have... Well, there's five. I mean, it's something. And armor. We have quite a bit of... We have one more power suit and plenty of personal armor. So I think what we're going to do... And actually, I need to transfer some of these. So let's go ahead and actually transfer them over to North Star. So transfer to North Star. You can have... Where's the armor at? You can have one power suit. Yeah, and yeah, just take all of those. Okay. And then from Pacific, we're going to transfer to Osiris uh, these alien alloys we just made. And we have just 10 personal armor here. Um, did I send these here for a reason? Yeah, I did send them here. Um, go ahead and take them. Okay. Alright, so let's continue. Uh, okay. Things are getting transferred. Good. That was one on the ground. Um, it'll be nighttime, which would be unpleasant. Should we go for it? Nighttime? We don't have flares here. Do we? Oh, we do. We got five flares. Okay. We can do this. Okay. Um, let me equip the craft, and uh, we'll go get them. All right, we're a little poorly equipped, but we we got 14 folks on there. Before I forget, though, I'm going to buy some rockets for this tank. Uh, rocket launcher, yes. Okay. Okay. Uh, all right, so let's go get them. Probably, I'm sure it'll be day, uh, nighttime. That one and Sky Ranger. Just in case he lifts off with some the interceptor, but I think we'll be there in plenty of time over here by Goose Bay. Oh, we might be daytime. I'll check it out. It's it'll be dusk. That's better. I'm not so scared anymore. All right, number fifteen. All right, let's do this. Um, and I did not. You know what? I will learn one of these days. Uh, let's see. Grizo has one. Okay. That's probably good enough. Alright, for zero. And throw that there. Okay. Let's see what we have here. Oh, 
Hopefully it's a nice friendly floater mission. Oh, well, look at that. It is a friendly floater. Nice. Uh, yeah, so Jimmy's an electro... He was electro flare man. But we don't need that now because there's a... It's day daytime. So Jimmy gets a grenade and it's done run. Actually, Jimmy. That would have been perfect if we could have got there. But we're not going to get there this turn. So Hingle might be able to run over this way. Run. And give me an auto shot. Can you, can you see him? You can't see him. Okay. Which means he can't see you, which means your chances of living are better. Uh, well, you got him once. Stephen Hawking. A few names I haven't... No, I just move more people over from the other base. Aim shot with the machine pistol. Nice! Oh. This guy's tough. Alright, little girl dwarf. Uh, no, you have a shotgun, so that's not just any good. Jennifer Erskine. I don't know who you are, Jennifer, but... Let's see what you can do with a pistol. Jennifer? Jennifer? Nice! Oh, yeah, what? Who is this guy? Almost like I'm shooting with pistols or something. What? Why? Alright, alright. Surely he can't take another shot. Guaranteed dead. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm confused. Well, I guess he doesn't have time yet, because he would have shot back. Uh, let's play it safe. Sebastian. Again, I don't know who you are. But you're going to <gasps> kill the what? Who? <laughs> Man! <laughs> I didn't know they're sitting there. Iron Man team. Man! All right, everyone, get out. Peter, this way. You have no name, which means you are an excellent scout. Carl Sagan will pop down right here, and we can probably prime this. And next turn we can give ourselves a little more cover. Hattie will come take the wheel over here. Hang out right there. And Yoda. Let's book it in here into the smoke. You're a good shot, Yoda, with a rifle. We might put you up here on top of this hill. Might be your your spot. Milligrass Tyson is a good scout, so we're going to pop him down behind these nice sturdy bushes. And Slarius, with a sniper rifle, you should probably take this hill as well. So you run out there, and you can... You know, I might actually just drop this, and someone else can pick it up. Okay. And I hope all the floaters aren't that hard to kill. Who was that guy? No. Alright, Tyson. Have, oh, there's... Oh. There's a crowd. Yeah, I really need to re-equip this craft and get something explosive. Well, we can auto shot with Hattie. Um, zero percent. Let's take out that one. He has a bigger gun. I'm scared of him. Not that way. Peter? Uh, 37 or 28. We can take a knee. What's that, what's that do for us? 32 and 42. Is it worth the timing? We could get five shots off. Do it. Nice. Nice. Peter! What? Peter! Who are you? What? Man, your fire accuracy is terrible. You're a hero, though. Alright, Peter. You know what, Peter? You're so good, you might even just get to keep your name. Alright, anybody, Yoda? Nope, nobody. Alright, I'm back a little bit. Right, Carl Sagan, let's book it up here. Tyson, can you make it? Yeah, you can. Okay, and we got Hingle as well as a scout. Let's see. Oh, we have two doors on this craft. Oh, I didn't look at my... Oh, energy. One there, and one over here. This ship is a little different layout, so we'll have to figure out what we're doing. This bush looks uh, sturdy. Who had the smoke? Did I move him up? Yeah, you do. You have it. Yeah. Well, um... Alright, Solaris, I want you up here. Definitely. Solaris is the ranking member of the crew. Uh, Sebastian, you come grab this smoke grenade. And... You probably can't do much with it, but you can at least prime it. Next turn, we can get it out there. 
Jennifer will follow. Is this Hingle over here? Hattie. And Stephen Hawking. Right, right, and we have a few folks in the craft. So Swampus will hang out by this bush over here. And then we got a little. Oh, Jimmy! Jimmy! Jimmy, we need to get you in the craft because you have a stun rod. We're going to take some live floaters. I don't know if we really need to, but it can't hurt. And you probably should get inside. You should, yeah. Close range, too. You should get in there. Little Girl Dwarf is a boy again. I don't know how this, this happens. <laughs> I should probably look. Oh, well. <laughs> Man, we need to just let Peter at it. Peter's got him. We're going to troll. Hang out over there. Uh, we'll let the scientist handle. Mm, should probably throw this thing. Just throw it over there. On the hill. There you go. And do something like that. And the little girl dwarf will join you. Energy is a problem. Alright, Hingle, I'm gonna let you I'm gonna leave you outside. Oh, maybe not. You don't have energy either. Oh! We missed that guy before. What is he? Does he have a stun bomb? He does. You don't see him, so take a knee. Aim shot. One shot. Nice. Well, that was a good hit. All right, Peter. Um, it's a little bit dangerous, but we're okay because it's Peter. Oh, Peter. Uh, you know what? You're better with snapshots. That's right. That's his trick. Oh, maybe not. That's zero percent. No, Peter, come on. There you go. We'll take this one. Oh, he's alive. Okay, there we go. It's our alive guy we want. Sebastian, can you run to behind this tree? Yes, you can. I forgot I have you up here. You would have been perfect for that. Oops. Okay, and Cariso will get here as well. And I don't know if I need too much more. Um, we'll let Hattie make it make it this way. Hattie and, and Jennifer can cover the side over here. Oh! Oh, Carl Sagan. Where'd that come from? I'm not okay with you throwing grenades, I guess. There he is. Alright, sniper. You take him from downtown. 101%. Nice shot. Uh, Neil deGrasse Tyson's going to avenge Carl Sagan as it should be. There you go. Oh, 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 oh. Um, is it safe enough? Is that wise to try this? I'll only get one shot. Yeah, we're doing it. Doing it. Nice. Alright. Little Dwarf, you're a fine soldier, sir. Oh, another one. And Jimmy's got a stun bomb. Stun rod. Jimmy? Jimmy? Uh, you gotta do it. There you go. Okay, you can move right here. And hang on, I'm leaving you outside. Explore the countryside. Yoda's got your back. And you took the one. Stick. Oh, oh, maybe not. Okay. Alright, I'm guessing they're in the craft. Oh, there he is, and he's looking at me. Um, don't shoot. Does he have a shot there? He might. Let's play it somewhat safe. Hang out over here. What is this? Engineer. Turn that way, so in case he does come out, we can at least... Um, does he have a line of fire on that? I don't think he does. But we're not going to risk it. Is it all clear over here? 
you say, Hattie? Looks like it is. Okay. Little girl dwarf. Uh, in case he blows up. Stay back. Okay. Um. It's quiet. Let's take another peek. Oh, he's okay. Good. He's turned around now. We can probably do something like a snapshot. Now you hit the wall right in front of you. How did you do that? Well, we always have the grenade, which is 14 to throw. You have plenty of time. Probably go right. Oh, can you see him there? Okay. That might kill him. Let's see. Nope. Blew his little table up. Oh, he's still facing the other way. Uh, snapshot. Oh, he missed. He missed again. Who are you? Why can't you shoot? Jimmy, can you run up there and stun him? 24. You might... That's a risky shot. Let's try to shoot him before we go sacrificing Jimmy. We're going to auto shot this time. Nope. There. There we go. Where's another one? Alright, Jimmy. Move the OCU in here. And... Tyson. Side, I'm assuming it's clear. I guess we could continue looking. There's a corner back here. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Um, somebody just walked out. I thought. Where's the. Oh, this is. I guess he has to walk all the way around here, and there's a door right there. I think he might be out there, though. It sounded like a door opened. Shot could be useful. Alright. Take a look, Yoda. There he is. And he's not even looking at us. Okay, so run up there. And just auto shot him. Three times. <laughs> Done. There's another one. Okay. Um. Get out of the way. You're kind of in the way there. Not kind of in the way. You are in the way. Um. We just wait because she's in the way. Kind of want to let Jimmy in there. There he is. Um. Looks like he needs a stun rod. He's on top of his friend. Do it again. There we go. Done. I lost one guy, but there was eight of them on there. Oh, there was ten of them. Okay, killed eight, captured two. We got some Valyrium and some Alloys. Very good. And our storage space is exceeded, so I'll have to clean up some of this. Give me one second. Alright, I think we need another general stores in this base, but we got 2.7 million out of all of this. Excellent. Very excellent. So we'll head back there, and, uh, you know, while I'm thinking about it, I'm going to... Build another general store here. I'll throw it. Oh, we have one coming in in five days. Okay, as soon as that shows up, we're going to buy. We need to re equip this crew pretty badly. Um, everything else is okay, though. So let's continue on. Oh, we have alien origins. He reports we know alien. Yeah. We're fighting a losing battle on Earth. We know that. Alien hordes are overwhelming in number. That's the best we can do. Uh, so, yeah, our only hope is to uh, try to find their source. We need to find a leader. Well, how about that? We got a leader. Okay. Is there anything else I should do before the leader? I don't think so. Okay. Okay. 7th of June. We'll go a little bit further. We got another small one in the Americas. Alright, Interceptor. We'll go take him out. It's a normal, normal, normal UFO. Stop shooting, Interceptor. Thank you. Okay, 
So uh, we'll do this next time, though. So next time we have a uh, small one in in Mexico again. Small UFOs in Mexico. That's I see a, I see a pattern forming. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I will see you then.